Hi everyone, welcome to a special live broadcast edition of the Astro Room, your very own portal to the cosmos. I am coming to you live from Southern California. I am so excited, so excited to have you all here today. I have some surprises in store for you. We are live imaging the sun. The solar eclipse is coming 10 more days. I have a solar eclipse countdown on. We are currently live imaging the sun as is right now. It is currently uh, three o'clock Pacific daylight time in Southern California. We've got beautiful clear skies. Uh, it might be already March. It might already be March 29th, depending on what part of the world you're uh, watching from. So let me know. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, I am bringing you today space news all while live imaging the sun. We will get to talk about the eclipse. We'll get to it. So stay with me. We'll talk about the new firmware update. Uh, this new update that I firmly believe has been done in order to help us image the eclipse. We will play around with it. I'll play around with it in action. Uh, the new uh, settings that we have to image the eclipse. And I'm looking forward to this so much with you guys. So stick with me. Let me know where you're watching from. Also to all my viewers uh, who um, speak uh, Spanish or Vietnamese. I actually, uh, I speak uh, three languages. So hit me up on the chat. I speak Spanish. Bienvenidos a todos los que hablan español que me están viendo. Yo también hablo español. Por favor, no duden en eh, conectarse conmigo en el live chat. Háganme preguntas. Para eso estoy. Uh, all of you who also speak Vietnamese. Uh, I speak Vietnamese. So, xin chào các bạn. Come on, boy, be, uh, join M from live uh, stream này. Em uh, rất uh, la bui và xin không ngại liên lạc với em qua live chat. Okay, so chat with me uh, in other languages. Feel free. Uh, and I can write you back in Spanish or Vietnamese, uh, ask me questions. I'll get to the live chat later on as the stream continues. Uh, but let's get to it, guys. We, I will be bringing you the space news. And um, what I wanted to say uh, is that the Astro Room has been growing very quickly, quick, quicker than what I could even keep up with. Uh, let's see if we can today hit during this live stream 700 subscribers. I'm almost there. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That just shows to me that you want me to continue bringing you more of this content, more videos, more live streams. So the more support that I get, uh, the more I can continue doing this. So thank you so much to all of you who have already subscribed. Let's see if we can hit the 700 mark today. Uh, I have another uh, surprise in store for you, and that is that we have now a live uh, merchandise shop of the Astro Room is on. So you'll see the link in the description. That's really all thanks to you guys because I've had so much support. Uh, I now have a, a shop. You can get some amazing merch, Eclipse merch on there, t-shirts, everything. I'm actually wearing one of the shirts right now. I'll stand up and show you guys. Uh, I have uh, the shirt that I wore on the last live stream too uh, that some people were asking me, where can I get that shirt? on the shop? Check out the link in the description. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. There's already been orders that have been placed today. I'm so excited. I just went live with that shop. Uh, you know, that link is it, just a few hours ago. And thank you so much to all of you who are supporting me. Thank you so, so much. Uh, to all of you who have also done the Buy Me A Coffee link donations, thank you again. Uh, that is just wonderful. I, I, you know, what I'm going to be doing with those donations is just do everything I can with that to upgrade all my gear that I use to bring you these live streams. My computer, the tech, the microphones, the cameras. So thank you. That's that's what I'm doing with this. So thank you so much uh, for being such an awesome support. Now, let's get started. Before we get to the space news, before we get more with the sun, with the live imaging of the sun, um, I want you guys to know about my top stargazing picks. Okay, my top stargazing picks for tonight, for the weekend, for the upcoming week, what you're going to want to see in the night sky, what you're going to want to image in your telescope. And visible right now in both the northern and southern, southern hemispheres, don't take it for granted, we've got the absolutely beautiful spring star called Arcturus. And I'm going to pull it up right now on Stellarium. You uh, should be seeing that on the uh, left side of your screen. I have a Stellarium web open, 
And uh, this star is one of the brightest in the night sky right now. You can see it with the naked eye. You don't need a telescope or, uh, or binoculars to see this. Uh, you, you can see this uh, with, with the naked eye. It's in the Botis constellation. It's now rising above the east-northeast horizon uh, just when the stars come out. Uh, it's 36 light years away. That's why it's so visible because it's relatively near, so to speak. Uh, which is why it's so bright. Um, and if you guys image this star, make sure you put on a diffraction spike. I talked about it in my last video, my last couple of videos, a live stream, my accessories video. Uh, make sure that you get this on there because it's going to look amazing with that classic star pointed look. So, and if you image this star, okay, or anything within the next couple coming days, in your C star app on the community tab, I want you guys to uh, tag me on there, okay? You know, you can actually uh, tag other people on there to see that if you want others to see your images. If you tag me at Astro Room, uh, some of you have already done it. I can go in and look at your images. I've commented on some of your images. I love seeing everyone's images from around the world. So if you're able to get Arcturus, uh, please uh, let me know. Let me know uh, and, and show it to me. I'd love to see it. Now, let me know in the live chat, where are you guys watching from? Uh, what are you going to be imaging also uh, this weekend? Do you have clear skies? How are your skies looking? How are your skies looking right now, guys? Let me know. Um, now, another one of my top picks for the night sky. Another one of my top picks. Let me move around the sun here. It looks incredible. We've got some great sunspots. Look at this, guys. The live sun right there. Just incredible what this telescope can do. Um, so another one of my top picks guys uh that i want you guys to check out that we should never take for granted either is the moon but i'm gonna tell you why i want you guys to image the moon uh this weekend and going into monday april 1st it's going to be a half moon and did you know that one of the best times to see the moon with a telescope or with binoculars is when it is 50 percent illuminated it's when it's the half moon, it's the best phase of the moon because it's because the light is not so bright and washing it out, you can see better and distinguish better, discern better the craters, uh, you know, the ridges on the moon, the impact of the craters. So uh, yeah, uh, make sure you try to get that by Sunday evening, by Monday, it's going to be a half moon. So look at it with your telescopes whatever telescope you have look at it with your sea star uh zoom into that moon it, it's gonna be it's gonna look really really insane uh you know when when it's when it's 50 percent illuminated so um another thing that continues to be absolutely trending in the news everyone you've got to get it let me know in the chat if you've gotten it i'll get to the chat in a minute i see some of you already writing don't miss your chance to get Comet 12P Pons Brooks. You know, I did a live stream on it recently. It was very difficult to capture this comet from my location. It's very, very low in the horizon, but get it before it's gone. This comet is only visible every 71 years from what they say, right? Every 71, it's true. Every 71 years. So before it leaves our, our you know, leaves orbit of our solar system, please try and get this. It's, it's got a tail. It's gorgeous, it's green, it's, it's, it's getting closer to the sun. So image it, tag me. Uh, if you image it, let me know in the community tag uh, tab. I've seen other images. I noticed some people out in Europe, out in uh, like uh, Germany and Italy are getting some incredible pictures. Maybe you guys have a better vantage point than some of us. I, I'm loving the images. So uh, tag me in those. I love seeing the comet Tolpe Pons Brooks. Uh, so get it now before it leaves it's reaching peak brightness it's going to be in uh in april uh it, it'll be viewable too so you know get it uh before it's gone um and my last top pick okay last top pick that you should get this weekend or tonight if you have clear skies uh the easiest planet to view right now is jupiter uh in the night sky it sinks low after dark uh, it sets around 10 or 11 p.m., so you want to get it early. Uh, get your Jupiter. Uh, and speaking of Jupiter, we're going to switch gears to space news and talk about Jupiter. I think this is important 
and this is fun. This is exciting news. I'm, I'm, I, I've been wanting to share this with you guys. Did you know? Did you know that the Hubble Space Telescope recently released some incredible images of Jupiter recently, and this video. Now, uh, the Hubble Space Telescope monitors and studies Jupiter every year. And this past January, this January, I'm talking about 2024, January 5th and 6th, it took these images of Jupiter and it, they, are, they just now got released very recently. And what's really cool is that, first I want you to know this actually is not a real-time movie of Jupiter. Instead, what NASA did is with all the images that they took, they mapped them together, okay, to create an animation in rotation. You know, this animated rotated video that you see, they put all the images on a sphere. This is how Jupiter looks. It's incredible. The photos were taken January 5th and 6th, uh, just a couple months ago, over the course of two days. And they noticed, uh, or they've been knowing, the planet's ro real rotation rate is 10 hours. So every time it rotates, you know, 10 hours. And they know that because of the great red spot. You know, Jupiter has a giant red spot, this giant storm that can swallow Earth. It's huge. And it's about to come up on this video. There it is. There, there it is right there. And uh, something that I wanted to say um, is I have a little experiment for you guys with the sea star in Jupiter. Okay. Uh, I've actually tried it. This was before I even launched this channel. See if you can spot. I know you're going to think it's impossible. Stay with me. See if you can spot the red gray spot, the storm in your sea star, okay? And I, th you know that there's a website called Red Spot Transit. I should put it in the description so you guys can check it out. And it'll tell you when the red storm of Jupiter is visible from your location and when you should pull out a telescope and image it and see if you can see it in your image. I honestly think I might have an image that got it. This was like months ago when I was imaging Jupiter. And because I had zoomed in so much, at that time, we didn't have the stacking feature in the Sea Star app. But, you know, see if you can get Jupiter, the, sto the storm, in your in your Sea If you can zoom in a whole bunch and see if you can see it, that would be super, super cool. If you're able to get that, let me know. <laughs> Please let me know. Uh, that would be, imagine how cool that would be. I know uh, Jupiter looks super tiny in, in our telescopes, right? This scope was not even made for planet viewing. But, you know, the Sea Star always surprises us. It always surprises us. So yeah. And getting into uh, the last space news before we move on, uh, I want to talk briefly about these news that kind of shocked me uh, when I found out. Intuitive machines, guys. Let me move my camera so you can see this. Intuitive machines, you guys know intuitive machines. They just landed on the moon. The first a private space company to land on the moon, the U.S. space company in over 50 years. This lunar rover made it, and its intuitive machines is back up on the news trending because they are going for a second mission. This website, excuse me, this company is based out of Houston, Texas. A uh, shout out to anyone watching from Houston. I grew up around the Houston area. It's kind of my hometown. Uh, I don't live there anymore, but yeah. Um, this company, uh, recently made it to the moon. A lot of us were watching that live stream and they're actually going to try it again. Some people might think they failed. You know what? They didn't because they made it. Yes, there were complications along the way, but it was so cool to see that live. So cool to see that they made it right. And what they're saying is they're going back for a second mission. I am too. It's called with the different objective. Uh, they know everything that went wrong in the first mission, and so they're going to fix all of that. They're fixing it as we speak. There is no set date yet for their second mission, but it'll be 2024. This is why they shocked me. They're going at it already. Before the end of the year, they will be on the moon again. And uh, so that's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing their, their live stream again of this. It's super fun to watch, and I'll keep you guys posted once they're going to, you know, they release the date. They're going to be... Uh, streaming this again once they're, you know, they're ready. But what they're saying for this uh, second mission is that they're ready with all the miscalculations that had happened, all the complications, are, they have all of that fixed. Uh, so they're, they're getting ready for this second mission. And the goal is to look for water ice on the moon, on the South Pole. 
Now, you might think that sounds funny. Why are they looking for water ice? What's the point of that? Well, did you know that water ice can actually serve as a fuel for rockets? Uh, because uh, water ice can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen. With that, they can form rocket fuel and travel further from the moon to deep space. So that's the whole point of this next mission. So pretty exciting stuff. We know there's a space race going with SpaceX, uh, Blue Origin, all these other private space companies are trying to get to Mars. They're going to see who can get to Mars first. All this, you know, exciting stuff. So uh, I think it's good for us to keep in the loop of all this because we're all space nerds. We all love love space so you know why not uh you know be in the loop of what's happening so yeah intuitive machines guys incredible incredible uh what they're doing so yes um i i'm now going to address the chat we are going to keep looking at the sun and okay someone is, is saying uh chewy you're saying a complete overcast in phoenix i guess you're not able to image uh at this time what a bummer. Um, yeah, we all want clear skies. Thank you guys for jo joining. Stuart, John, Leo, Richard. Uh, please hold advertising. Thank you. Uh, John. Thank you again, John. Always joining. Uh, in Kansas City, Stuart. Uh, it's clear, but it's windy. Okay, okay. All right, I got it. I got it. Uh, rainy day. Thank you. Joining me from NYC, Leo. Very, very cool. <laughs> How awesome. How awesome. Looks like we've got almost 20 people on the live chat right now and on the live stream. Thank you guys for watching. Um, okay, so uh, Chewy's near Flagstaff. Oh, okay, okay. You'll try and image the comment. Nice. Uh, from San Francisco Bay, we've got Richard on. Very cool. Thank you. We're not too far from each other. You could kind of say it's a small world. I'm in Southern California. Um, and someone else also saying you're going to try and image Topi Ponds Brooks. Awesome. Please do. Uh, yeah, some of you guys are saying you're going to try to do it this weekend. Oh, your sea star is arriving tomorrow. Uh, Leo, congratulations. That is wonderful. Look at what you can get with the sea star. Check out, check out this sun. Look at that. Just, uh, this is incredible. You can zoom in. Let's zoom in on this, on these sunspots, guys. Just absolutely, just incredible. I mean, this stuff never gets old for me. It really never gets old, guys. Um, yeah, John, John is saying regarding intuitive machines, they need to stick to the land. They need to stick the landing. They do. I think they will, John. I think they're, I think intuitive machines will stick the landing, uh, on their next mission. They have to, because I think they learned a lot from all the errors they had on this first mission. You know, I mean, it was their first one. So, uh, at least they got, they got to the booth. Let's see what happens. Uh, landscape design management. Thank you so much. Clear skies in Houston, but no telescope yet. Oh no. Hey, you, you got to get your telescope. You got to get your telescope. I'm telling you any smart telescope will do. Uh, but the sea star, you know, it is, it is hot. It is on fire right now. Everyone loves the sea star. Uh, it, it's, it's wonderful. So I might be biased, but you know, I have other telescopes too, but the sea star is my favorite. <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's a great telescope. Um, yes, India did land their, their rover on the moon. I agree. That's why I said it's the first U.S. company to get to the moon in over 50 years. You're right. India did land. That was incredible, too. Everyone was, the world was shocked with that. I loved it. Uh, congratulations to India on that achievement. That, that was wonderful, you know. I, all these space companies should just, they should all work together. Sometimes... You know, I know there it's almost competition, but really, like, come on, everyone can help each other out. Uh, also, from Intuitive Machines, forgot to mention that they're planning to, w when they launch this second mission, Japan is helping them. Some uh, other, uh, I can't remember if it was a camera or rover, will be on Intuitive Machines at the moon. It's from Japan. I forgot the name of the of the little camera or the rover that they're going to be using. But, you know, they're, I like it that they're working together with other countries and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool, guys. Um, everyone, feel free to answer or, or ask me more questions on the, on the live chat. I want to show you guys the latest firmware update with the C-Star. Uh, that, you know, the, the latest one that just came out. So, rumor has it, this is specifically for the Eclipse, right? 
It, I mean, it was obvious. We've been begging them to come up with something to make the eclipse uh, easier for us, that we don't have to even take off the lens. I, I, I continue to do more tests with this. And I want to show you guys what I've thought of that you can do during this eclipse by using this new update because they've added some cool features for the sun. Okay, for manual uh, uh, settings that you can change. And I'm assuming, obviously, during the eclipse, this should work. Uh, guys, let me know if any of you are traveling to uh, the eclipse and the eclipse area, the path of totality, or if you already live there, let me know where are you guys going? I'm going to be in Texas, southern Texas. Um, let me move my camera a little bit, guys. I feel like I'm, or maybe I just need to move my son there a little bit. My son is blowing up. This is incredible. Um, yeah, so let me know. Are you guys that are traveling to, uh, you know, to a certain area of totality for this eclipse? Let me know where you're going. I know people are already just have, people have since long ago booked hotels, Airbnbs. You know, let me know where you guys are going. I know some of, I know one of my viewers before said they were going to travel to Austin. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, okay. Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, okay, first, Richard, uh, what is the best time to image the comet? That's a great question. Comet Holy Palms Brooks. You know, it's literally like after sunset. After sunset. Like, it's very low in the horizon. I'm not sure. You, you are where, uh, um, Richard, I forgot where you said you were. San Francisco? Yeah, uh, right after sunset, super low in the horizon. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, you, you just want to try, I mean, I only have about an hour of visibility, I would say, where, where the sea star can, can stay with it because it just starts dropping quick for me and I've got buildings in the way. Uh, so just get it right, use your Sky Guide app, uh, use your your sky atlas in your sea star to find it uh but yeah get it get it uh right when right when this right when you know it's dark when the sun has set go out there go out there and get it um someone is asking me Stuart, do i think zwo which is the maker of the sea star will they release an equatorial mount oh man that that's a great question i hope so guys i i i don't know if they will um you know, I, I'm for sure we know they've got stuff in the works for a, another model. They have to, you know, they know this, this scope has been blowing up. Um, and uh, that would be awesome. I don't know if that's their intention. I know the whole point of the Sea Star is user friendly and easy, easy to use, you know. So I don't know if some people might be scared by the equatorial mount. I don't think they should be. But, you know, I wonder if they'll just keep releasing another model or release more models and then one of them might be an equatorial mount option, you know? Who knows? Um, I think we should all ask. I think we should submit a report to them. You know, we can contact them. They're great at writing back. I, I, I've told you guys that in another stream before. I submitted uh, some queries to them and they wrote me back, right? They told me Mosaic Mode was coming to the Sea Star which we're all waiting for. I'm sure some future update will have it. They said it was coming. They're working on it. So uh, we should ask them about the equatorial mount. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, FAI454 is telling me you're traveling from San Francisco to Dallas. I believe that's for, for, for the eclipse. Wonderful. I'll be doing the same thing from California to Texas. I don't think I'll be in Dallas though, but Yes, yes. Um, you will be Chewy in the in Fredericksburg for the eclipse. I love Fredericksburg, Chewy. Uh, I've only been there once, and I love it. Little German town. I, I love Fredericksburg. It's so fun. The gift shops, the food, the, the German food. I love Fredericksburg. Oh, you're you're gonna love that. Um, Kansas City is. Am I understanding that right, Stuart? You're going to Dallas. So many people are going to Texas guys. I you know they say it's it's going to be the top place because they're known to have very clear skies around this time of the year. So uh Texas is going to be I if I'm not mistaken guys uh NASA will be in Kerrville, Texas. They were in Kerrville during the last eclipse uh months ago uh, live and they live streamed it. I was watching that it was very cool. So I think NASA will be live streaming from Kerrville, Texas for this eclipse. If I'm not mistaken, they're doing it again. So, um, 
Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm looking at this chat. Um, okay. Wants to know how to remove the solar filter from the sea star during totality. Okay. That's what I want to get to, guys. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going to do more tests on this. I'm trying to figure out if we could just not have to remove it, but I can't confirm that yet. I can't confirm that yet because I'm running tests for the Eclipse. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to show you the new firmware update, okay? I just want to pay attention to the chat right now, what you guys are asking me. Uh, Richard, uh, potential mosaic mode. I just addressed that. News on potential mosaic mode, mode. Nothing new, Richard. Nothing new yet. We just know it's coming. We don't know when, but we know it's coming. Um, okay, please hold advertising. You're saying you're driving to Austin for the eclipse. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, from Miami. You're driving? Wait, you're, you're, are you live from Miami? What does this mean? You're driving from Miami to Austin, Texas? Explain that to me. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay, John, John, what are you saying there about, uh, buying a sea star? Um, Sold your doctor on buying a sea star? <laughs> uh, wait, what is this, John? John, that's hilarious. Oh man, I'm telling you, the sea star is blowing up. The sea star is blowing up. So, um, okay, guys, let's check out. I want to show you guys. Let me put the the sun here. Let me get everything. Make sure it's working good. I want to show you guys the new firmware update details. Um. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's, John, I, I can't get over what you just said. You got your doctor to buy the sea star. That's what I'm understanding from what you said. Uh, I love it. Okay, okay. Um, guys, can we reach, what's my count right now on my subscribers? Can we reach 700 today? If you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe. Let's, let's see if we can hit that goal. <laughs> let's do it. Please hold advertising is now saying you have turned six people onto the C star. Oh my goodness, look at you. You're like public relations for ZWO. <laughs> You're their marketing marketing specialist. That is amazing, guys. I'm telling you, I that that's awesome. I mean, I I don't know how many people out there have the C star, but it's gotta be thousands of thousands. I mean, they've gotta be in the hundreds of thousands. I mean. You know, all of you, I, I hope they can all come to my channel and, and we can help each other out with the C Star together, live imaging, doing all this stuff, learning, learning from each other, sharing images with each other. Uh, this is super, super cool, guys. This is so awesome. Um, and uh, okay, guys, let's get to this. The moment I know everyone's waiting for it. Okay, have you guys yet had the chance, if you've had Clear Skies to play, with the uh, new firmware update, the solar mode, the new adjustments that they've made while you're imaging the sun, have you tried it? Have you tried it? I'm going to show you right now. Let me get to it. Okay. Going to minimize. Oh, you know what? I don't need to minimize. I'm sorry. What? Give me one second here. Let's go back. Let's go back to my sun. And if you notice, Right, I'm going to have it under the video, video mode. I'm going to press the raw. You guys should be able to see that. I'm going to move my camera a little bit out of the way. Let me grab my camera mode here. And there we go. And okay, guys, let me know if you can see this clearly, okay? Uh, you notice we have like right under the raw mode, on the right, all the way on the right of your screen, right under the raw mode, you are going to see the little scale, it's the brightness scale, the plus and minus sign. I'm gonna press that, okay? And you're going to notice, we've had this before. This part is not new. The brightness scale comes up, right? Where you can go uh, up or down. I, this is not new. And if you haven't tried it, though, play with it because it's awesome. I call this the Saharan African sunset. This looks super cool or sunrise. <laughs> I, I love playing with this. This makes great pictures. Do this and take a picture of it and send it to your family and friends. This is fun to play with. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to normal. Let's go back to a regular, the live view of the sun. Okay, regular color that we just had. 
And so this part is not new. We've had this little brightness scale before. What's new is I just pressed manual. So you notice I'm going to go back and said auto. If you press manual, this is what's new. We've got the exposure uh, with milliseconds on. Okay. This is what I think is specifically for the eclipse, guys. And we've got exposure settings. Okay, I, uh, we've got gain settings. You see that right there on, on the bottom of your screen, right? Under the sun. And look at what happens. Uh, look at what happens when I move the exposure settings. And this is what I want to continue testing. I had the C-Star out for about four hours yesterday uh, just to check the tracking, just to make sure, you know, I can have it under the sun for that long because for the eclipse, we're going to have it under the sun for a long time, like two hours, two and a half hours or something. So, and even more than that, because we're going to be setting up early, right? But uh, check it out, guys. Look at what happens. Have you guys played around with this? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know. More people are writing in the chat. I'll get to all that in a minute, guys. Thank you. Um, so your exposure, look at what happens. I'm going to move it. And that is crazy wild. So, guys, what are you thinking about this? This is so bright, it almost could hurt your eyes. But what are you thinking about this? And this is what I want to figure out. And I hope to get back with you guys with an update on this. Do you think that due to this setting that we do not need to remove the solar filter? What do you guys think? Do you think I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for too much? Do you think I'm exaggerating? Um, I want to, I want to try some tests to see if it's, you know, if the, the, if it'll be visible, right? Once it reaches totality, when you can see the Corona, once you can take off your solar eclipse glasses and you can look at the sun, do you guys think that by doing this setting, by playing around with these settings, with this brightness scale, that we don't need to even take off the filter because I, I'm so worried about taking off the filter and like it messes up your leveling or something and you know the nervousness of trying to do all of this at once the eclipse the totality might only be two to four minutes depending on where you're at and you don't want to miss this experience too you want to see it with your own eyes right so what do you guys think do you think by using this we don't even have to turn off the filter we just do that and also Test this, guys. Uh, test this with me, guys, when you can, and let me know. Uh, can you also? I'm gonna do the gain. You see the gain feature? I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna move it up. Look at it. Look what's happening. Check it out. You see that? So, and and I'll be honest. I I feel like we all need to get ready and practice this stuff ahead of time because I don't want to be fumbling during the eclipse. I don't want to be like, oh you know, uh, the gain, the exposure, and then I'm not looking at it. And then, you know, you miss the whole thing, <laughs> you know? So I, like I said, I want to run some tests. Perhaps I'll do another video before the eclipse uh, to see, you know, and some people are playing around with putting like a dark object or something, you know, and, and, you know, that's what I think I need to do, putting a dark object and seeing if using that exposure setting and the gain setting could get uh, our, you know, to get the sun's corona, the atmosphere visible during the eclipse and not have to go through all these other hoops and hurdles. Uh, but uh, um, John, thank you. John is saying, not exaggerating, he thinks it will work. Thanks, John. I think so too. I think that's why they did this. I mean, people have been begging, begging ZWO, please do some type of solar eclipse mode. Please update the app. And they did it, guys. I mean, this has to be it. I don't think there will be some other updates specifically at least for the eclipse for, by the time the eclipse comes because people, we need this way in advance. we got to practice, right? It, I mean, if there is another update for the eclipse, I'll be surprised. Another solar mode, but I, I think this is it. I think this is going to work, guys. So play with it when you can, when you have clear skies. Play with it. Do some tests with a dark object where you cover, you know, uh, cover where the sun is and, and do the, you know, see what it can get. I'm going to play around with that. I haven't fully gotten a chance to, but I wanted you guys to know that I've had my, uh, my yesterday when I had my CSAR out under the sun for four hours, uh, some people are worried about overheating and the, it did not overheat. Now it does get 
hot, the sea star will warm up. It makes sense. Just like your phones, right? They get hot, you know, when you're charging them, when you're overusing them, they get a little warm, right? Your devices. Uh, but I did notice that the sea star did get warm. I wouldn't say it was overheating, like danger, danger, you know, uh, but uh, it, it did get a little warm, but it was fine. But totally fine. Uh, nothing hot to the touch, like where I'm like, oh no, it's too hot, you know? I thought it was fine. Uh, how many hours have you guys used it under the sun? But I, the max I've used it is about four, four and a half hours and totally fine. It kept tracking my sun, uh, didn't overheat, nothing to be worried about. Mind you, I do live in maybe very uh, favorable conditions because Southern California, the weather is normally pretty nice nice you know uh temperature year round but uh you know maybe when i go to texas it's going to be hotter during the eclipse i'm not you know or you know when the sun is out depending on where you live i don't know you know how that could affect it those of you like in miami someone in florida right if it's, it's hotter over there you know how how does your sea star work under very hot hot conditions or this summer in the texas heat those of you who live in texas uh Andy, hello from Umbo, Texas. All right. Thank you. Thank you from Umbo, Texas. <laughs> That's my sister, actually. Awesome. And Arthur just arrived. What's going on, Arthur? Um, so, yes, uh, please hold advertising. You're saying you will, it, you are uh, from Miami. Uh, oh, you'll be going to stay with family in Round Rock, Texas. Oh, that's cool. Round Rock. I love Round Rock, too. Check out a lot of stuff to do in Round Rock. Go climb Enchanted Rock. Uh, and, and that's a really cool spot. Uh, Austin is, is, I love Austin. I love, I love Texas. I grew up in Texas. So, um, yeah. Um, okay. I, uh, a Stuart, I think you might not see totality without the filter or remover. Okay. You can video the sun in totality with your phone camera. Yes. Okay, Stuart. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's possible. It's possible, right? Like I said, I, I think we should all do some tests. Um, and or ask ZWO for their opinion, John. Yeah, yeah. Um, very, very, very. Yeah, we we should we should. They I they've released a video on their YouTube ZWO C Star the C Star YouTube about the eclipse, but they didn't show how to use the new mode and what to do. You know, I I wish they would, but it is what it is. Maybe we should directly message them, see what they say. Um. Okay, Darwin is saying, Darwin, thank you. Thank you for uh, supporting uh, Astro Room. I, I, I know you're a subscriber. Once totality starts, no filter needed. Okay, you're going to take it off when the Bailey's beads. Yes, okay. Okay, you know what? A lot of this is an experiment for all of us, you know? Nobody's ever filmed an eclipse with this particular telescope or this particular eclipse with this telescope. So it's going to be an experiment for a lot of us. Uh, yeah, okay. So perhaps just popping off the filter, you know, just to, I guess, be safe that you're getting the eclipse in your sea star. Pop it off. <laughs> you know, if you see that it's not working with these features, I mean, I wish we didn't have to pop it off, but, you know, it is what it is. The situation is what it is, maybe, and especially for the Bailey's Beach to show up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you're going to have five or six cameras going, include, not counting the sea star. Okay. Go for it. Guys, I recommend with, during this eclipse, have your, um, have a family or friend have like a phone recording going in the background of like just even on you and on your family because you want to keep this experience. You, you, you want to have this uh, and, and it'll be a nice memory for you, you know, because sometimes trying to record the sun with your phone, you're not going to get anywhere perhaps. You're not going to see much. So maybe have a backup of one of your family or friends or, you know, your relatives record the sun uh, or excuse me, record you guys, you guys, while you're screaming and excited and, and, and watching the eclipse, you know, have that memory, place the phone on the ground and, and have that memory of you guys enjoying it with your family. Uh, I've seen videos of previous eclipses and people like looking at the eclipse and they're like screaming. And it's just so cool that somebody decided to record that, you know, besides just seeing it from a telescope, you know, which is obviously cool too, but have that experience with you. Keep a phone handy on the ground somewhere propped up where you can have 
uh, a memory of you and your family, you know, uh, getting excited and ready for the eclipse. So, yeah. Um, Chewy, there's a section in the Sea Star app that says how to photograph a total solar eclipse. Thank you. I, you know what? I need to dig into that. Um, I, I don't know if I've quite looked at that or if I saw it and I didn't see enough information or details specifically with this new update, but I will check that out. We should all check that out. Thanks, Chewy. Um, okay. Yeah, someone is saying they, they checked it. Yeah, I thought I had seen that, but I didn't see anything super significant, you know, that could help us. But, you know, I'll definitely check it out. I'll definitely check it out. Um, yeah, yeah. How many, how many people do we have on? Guys, thank you so much. All the support, all the support that I'm getting. Uh, I, you know, like I said earlier, I, I, I'm, in, I'm in shock about the, the, this channel has been moving faster than, than what I expected. And I, I can't do it without you guys. If, you know, I, I, so thank you so much. I, I was saying earlier, those of you joining me later on in the stream, I, recently launched a, a merchandise shop you know for the astro room and uh, i launched it literally the six seven hours ago and people are already buying on there I, I can't believe it i've got some incredible merchandise on there uh stuff to get you ready for the eclipse uh solar eclipse shirts uh all kinds of stuff so check it out the link is in the description and guys uh speaking of solar eclipse please tell me you have your solar eclipse glasses already. Please tell me you've gotten these because I, I'm assuming they're selling out like crazy on Amazon everywhere. Uh, some people are going to stadiums that are going to be doing the eclipse live and stuff like that with scientists and in Texas they're doing this. Uh, and they're, I think they're going to be giving eclipse glasses there, but I don't think they're just giving them out. I think you have to purchase them. So get them while you can before they sell out. Get your Eclipse glasses. These ones that I use are actually, there's a link in the description for them. And make sure they are ISO certified. Make sure they're ISO certified. I have everything in, in the link in the description. I've used these specific ones before in another Eclipse. The Eclipse that we just had a few months ago, not as significant as this one, but it was still a cool Eclipse. I, I use these and uh they they work beautiful as a matter of fact when i want to just look at the sun real quick outside like on, on on at any moment i actually put these on briefly uh to see like oh how are the clouds can i should i take my sea star out uh yeah these are great eclipse glasses make sure yours are not torn they're not overly worn make sure they haven't or if you have older eclipse glasses and they've been in a drawer for years or they're bent up or scratched don't use those you want to make sure you have you know, good eclipse glasses, uh, you know, fresh ones, so to speak, that are, are, or anything that's still functioning, that has a certification on there. You can find the certification in the, inside the glasses, okay? Uh, be safe, guys. Be safe with your eclipse. Make sure, you're, make sure your family has some of these. Uh, and, you know, as soon as totality hits, you take off your, your glasses, right? You take off your solar eclipse glasses. Uh, be safe. Be very safe with that. There's an app. I, I In my solar eclipse video, there's an I talked about, and it's in the description, there's an app that will do call-outs for you, like, like for you to know when to put on your glasses, when it's in totality, so to speak, when to take off your glasses, when it's safe. So, uh, you know, check that out too. You know, you all of you guys, please be safe. Don't damage your eyes during this eclipse. Do not damage your eyes. Um, and enjoy it. Enjoy this event. Enjoy this event. Enjoy it. Uh, Okay, Chewy is asking, am I going to use video mode or time lapse? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I'm, I'm fighting between the two. I'm not 100% sure at this moment. I might just do a regular video mode. Uh, I, I believe time lapse will save up more memory, is less uh, memory consuming on your actual device. Uh, you know, if you're going to do like a time lapse for like a long time, but you know, um, I think no matter what, I, th I think it should, it should be okay. I, I, I honestly think it'll be okay. Um, I'm excited to then after the eclipse to know what everyone has done. I know people are going to be using all kinds of different, different modes. Your raw, your time lapse, your, 
you know, and then can we stack what happened? Oh, somebody asked me, I don't know if you're watching, somebody recently asked me uh, if um, you can do raw time-lapse video stacking of the sun. Yes, you can. I did it earlier today. I'll show you proof. I'll show you proof. Uh, let me let me show you right now. I'm going to go to my album. If you go under your album and you click on C-Star, I was recording in raw time lapse and check it out. I did a very short recording, but you it the the it'll come up. You'll see there on the left side top of your screen. Oh my count. It okay. See where you guys see the thing that says Eclipse Countdown? I should probably move that out of the way. Right next to that, next to the 10 day count, you see that it says raw, it's tiny. But if you record under under time lapse, you'll get a little timer clock icon. I don't know if you can see it. It's right next to the number 10. Right next to the number 10. It's a little, it's the raw button and uh, and the little timer icon. So that's the difference between a regular raw video recording and then a time lapse one. The time lapse will have the icon. So let me know if you're watching. You uh, Somebody in the comments had asked me earlier. And yes, so you can stack it. Here's proof. I just clicked on that. You the the word stack is up there, and I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me move my clock. I have a clock up there of the current time here in California, and you see. Oh, you see it right there. Okay, I'm moving my clock right up there on the top right corner. It says stack. So that's my that's my time lapse. That's the time lapse raw recording. It can be stacked. So I'm I'm sure so many people are going to be trying this. Um, also for the eclipse, but yeah, you can stack this stuff, guys. I, I'm not gonna stack it right now. I don't. I don't want to mess with my live sun right now. You know, we've got the sun live, so I don't want to. Yeah, I think even if I did try to stack it, I won't lose it. But I don't. You know, we're doing a live stream. Anything can go right. Anything can go wrong. <laughs> I don't want to lose my sun. Let's let's try to center it. Uh, for those of you just recently joining, I've got more viewers now that are on. We are live imaging the sun. It's on the right side of your screen. Live image right now of the sun from Southern California. Beautiful clear skies. Beautiful clear skies today, guys. And uh, let's see what you guys are saying now in the chat. Um, yes, okay. You're driving from Miami to Austin. 1200 miles in your Tesla. Wow. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. That's so fun. Um, okay. Arthur, you live about five miles out of the edge of the eclipse in Northeast Ohio. So probably. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The chat is, there's a lot in the chat here. Okay. So probably 99%. Okay. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Yes. You will be able to see the stars during totality. Guys, don't, don't miss this. Uh, don't miss this. You'll be able to see the stars during totality. In my solar eclipse video that I did, there's a section where I'm showing that. You'll be able to see stars, planets, all of that during the eclipse because it's going to be nighttime during the day, right? The stars will be out in broad daylight. Um, I showed what, what will be visible. I can actually show you now. We get a chance. Uh, with the Sky Guide app. If I go to April 8th and the timing of the eclipse, it'll show you everything that's visible, that's going to be visible during the eclipse with stars. It's so awesome. So awesome. Uh, okay, you ordered. Uh, Richard, thank you for watching. Till next time. Till next time, Richard. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, you also, let's see, uh, your please hold advertising. You ordered a pack of 10 solar eclipse glasses, ISO. Good, good. That's awesome. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Arthur, if you can travel to totality to a hundred percent, if you can, for sure, for sure, if you can, um, yes, yes, Darwin, I agree. Yes, 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 yes. Um, do you guys have, uh, any other, uh, ways that you're preparing for this eclipse? What are you guys... What else are you guys uh, planning to do? Um, 
How are you, how, what, what are you guys planning to do? Did you guys rent a hotel and everything? Someone said they're staying with family. That's even better. Um, yeah, the sky doesn't get as dark as expected. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it'll get dark. I, I mean, maybe not pitch black, but right? Uh, it still will be, they're saying the comet will be visible too. They're saying Comet Topi Pons Brooks. NASA says they're going to study the comet. They recently did their own live stream regarding uh, the eclipse and eclipse safety. They re very recently had it. I, I was watching it and all the, they talked about all the stuff they're going to study during the eclipse. The comet will be out. Um, yeah, it, it's still going to be an incredible experience. I believe the 360 degree sunset too, the sunset in all directions, you can see the sunset. So many things that you don't want to miss during the eclipse. Besides just, just focus on your sea star. Make sure you look at your surroundings, guys. Um, Darwin, you're going to see it from your backyard observatory. That is beautiful. Congratulations to you, man. That's awesome. So P. Pons Brooks will be near Jupiter. Yes, Chewy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Guys, this has been absolutely wonderful. I, I, I love, I love this. Thank you for, for being with me today. The countdown is on for the eclipse. We are ready. Uh, I wonder if anybody is coming from Europe or other parts of the world to the U.S. to look at this eclipse. Um, I know people in Mexico can also see this eclipse, certain parts of Mexico, uh, you know, certain parts of Canada, you know, uh, a lot of people are, I, 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 want, I would love to know if any of you are literally traveling from like another part, the other side of the world to the U.S. or something to come see this eclipse. Uh, that, that, man, that's, that's, a, that's incredible because this, this kind of eclipse isn't visible every day or every year or every 10 years, right? This is like uh, one of those uh, kind of rare, you know, not, not all the time kind of eclipse. I think the next one is like 2044 and in only visible in Alaska. I forgot where else. Like, it's limited. Um, yeah, but the sun looks incredible. Look at these sunspots. Look at these sunspots. I have it on raw mode now on, under video raw mode. Just incredible. Um, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for joining me. We're going to wrap up this broadcast. Uh, thank you so much to all my viewers. Th this has been so much fun. Stay tuned with me. I'll be bringing more live streams. Um, I'll be out during the week of the eclipse, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to be here before then and, uh, more stuff to bring to you guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm, I'm hoping to see if we can hit 700 subscribers before the end of the day today. That would be awesome. Um, uh, if you have any other questions, Drop them in the comments when we're done with this stream. Just drop it in the comments later on. Uh, and uh, have fun. Happy stargazing. Happy eclipse. Uh, enjoy your time with your family and friends. Uh, it's exciting, exciting time in the world of space and all things cosmos related. So, and you were here live with the Astro Room. Thank you so much, everyone. It's been a pleasure. It's been so much fun. You guys are just a great community, uh, and I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you so much, everyone, and enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone uh, writing in the comments. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, everyone. We're going to tune out. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, rest of your day, no matter where you're watching from. Thank you, everyone.